Hello and welcome to this Dunk Techno chord tutorial. First of all, you can get this rack for free. You get it from the comment section, so go and get that now. Um, you can control everything in the whole rack through these eight macros here. Um, so yeah, go and get that. There's other samples there as well. Right, so first of all, for a dub techno chord, you need the chord. Um, you want a minor chord. I've made it easy, so you don't have to play your own chord. You just have to press any key on the keyboard, press one key. And then this chord unit here will just automatically make it so it's a three finger minor chord, which is really good for techno. Uh, yeah, it's just a standard three finger minor chord. Then after that, uh, Ableton Analog makes the sound. I've slightly detuned the oscillators here. Uh, you can hear the effect of that here. It's basically just to make it slightly nastier. You can hear the tune effect now. Just a little bit is often good. Um, so yeah, so as you as you turn the detune knob, both of these go in opposite directions. There's two oscillators, and they both go in opposite directions, so they get like nastier and more detuned as you turn this knob here. Then I've used a filter, which is really important to fill the sound down low, and then it's sent to an envelope, which is really short and tight. So you just get so when when the cutoff is down you just get a really short plucky sound which is really nice and then it's nice to be able to move the filter as well so this is the filter decay which makes which will make the filter open just a tiny bit more you can see it as I turn it up which is really nice to automate or to uh, record in uh, changes in that and then you can use them both that and the filter cutoff to open up the sound they'll play a big part in uh, in the shaping of the chord and they're things you want to keep moving throughout the track then after that there's overdrive and erosion um, that basically distort the chord and make it noisy because obviously when dub techno was made it was made with lots of um, lots of different hardware and there was a lot of noise involved and uh, this just sort of adds that back in you can hear the erosion effect if I turn it up yeah and you can add that into taste uh, there's an overdrive unit as well that's not set up on the macros that's set up to standard but if you want uh, you can you can tweak that as well it creates a nice filtering effect but it's similar it's similar to the filter cutoff that's uh, that's already uh, mapped to the macro and then after that these are really important there's two echo units that do they both do ping pong delays and reverb uh, first of all the reverb, I've mapped both on the first unit, I've mapped both the reverb and the reverb decay to the same macro. So as you turn both up, you just they'll just basically whack the both settings right up. Like that. So you just get those big reverb swells. Uh, also, uh, the feedback and the dry wet are mapped to the macro. And on this first unit, the delays are quite short. Also, I've made it so that the both channels are a bit off. So one is a bit tight and the one, other one is a bit loose. And then they both ping pong delays. So they both go left and right. So you get a, a wide stereo effect as you turn the feedback and um, a mount up. Like that. And if you use it in conjunction with uh, the filters and the reverb, you get some nice effects. Um, yeah, and then after that, there's the second uh, echo unit, which is basically set up to do something quite similar that you can't. I haven't set that the. the the re there's some reverb on it but it's not set to a macro control I don't think you need it because you've already got control over this one on the macros but what it does do is it has a much longer decay delay so a much longer delay time and both of these are off again one's a bit loose and one's a bit tight and as so as you turn up the wet dry I put the wet dry and the feedback to the same macro and as you turn that macro up you'll get a really wide uh, longer delay uh, ping pong delay and it'll be really stereo and that's that's this one here If you use it with the reverb as well. And you can use all three reverb 
reverb settings and echo, echo settings to uh, to tweak it as the track goes on. I would definitely recommend. Uh, well, you can draw this in with automation if you like, but this is definitely something which is nice to draw in with a mouse or if you've got a MIDI controller to do it in live, so you get a much more organic feel. Yeah, that's it that's it for this uh, for how to make a dub techno chord as i said you can get this rack in the comment section and there's also a link to loads of free samples and other stuff we've got on the blog so yeah have a look at that and uh, yeah thanks a lot for listening uh, get in touch if you have any requests or requests for samples or any more tutorials uh, thanks a lot and thanks for listening